everybody welcome back to our channel good morning good afternoon good evening whatever time you dip in and whatever time it is we're grateful happy yeah. and pleased to see you yes sorry it's been such a long time oh it has it's been such a long time it's been six weeks yeah it's been six weeks today's a tuesday hang Please on home. whoa 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 to the rest that's a good point but to the rest of the world that's a normal six weeks we've been doing stuff well <laughs> That's one way to put it. I'd like everybody to get the violins ready because here comes a sad story. Okay, I get home on a Saturday morning when we're trying to decorate the downstairs hall, the stairway and the upstairs landing in the weekend. Mm -hmm. What's left of getting home on Saturday morning. Or Sunday. Or Sunday or going, then going to work on Monday. So it's taken a few weeks, probably more than six weeks. We were decorating before we did the last one. We we officially started decorating the hallway in February 2021. Yes, that was r ripping the wallpaper off. That was when we took the ceiling down. Oh, yes. Might even been 2020. Yeah, but the actual approach of decorating, ripping the wallpaper off and then trying to get it all back to... Been since February this year. So it's been a while. Yeah. It's hanging around. But we are. It's exciting because we are getting to the slapping paint on walls time are we even straight we aren't even straight they just speak for yourself yeah so is there something you're not telling me my lovely absolutely nothing darling okay, good completely doors wide open yes moving swiftly on yes um and on top of all of that my lovely mum has been in hospital for nearly two weeks now yeah. two weeks wednesday i think two, two weeks tomorrow um, she is very poorly. She is on, they keep trying lots and lots of different in, um, antibiotics. Yeah, you can get the word out. Mm -hmm. Lots and lots of different antibiotics. I did go up and see her on Even the second. Grumpy. Hello, pussycat. Um, did go up and see her on the second and third of September, which is why we didn't do a video last weekend. Indeed, when we it should have, have done, been done. Because yes, I was correct. up in Essex visiting mum in hospital. Indeed. Um, so we don't also know when the next one will be because it all very much depends on what happens with her health. Indeed. But I'm sure you'll all join with me to wish mum a happy, happy whatever, you know, speedy recovery. Speedy recovery. recovery. <laughs> you know, happy time in hospital. Speedy recovery. Not as such, but yeah, a speedy recovery. Get she gets better, better soon. Better soon. Mom. Yes, mum. She will watch this because it's not the most exciting place. The cat is doing shenanigans just over here. Um, you might see him, you might not. He's wandering around. I know what the trouble is. It's that time of day where he's just had some lunch. Yes, he wants cuddles. And he wants his post-lunch cuddle. Well, we're on Holly Bobs, so he's going to have to adapt to... I'd rather he wasn't wiping himself all over the chaperone, though, because... Well, he's your cat. Get control. Off he goes. Bye-bye. <coughs> yeah, I know. Here comes well. the nose. So, a needle pulling thread. Yes. Let's start with the mentions. We've had quite a Do few that. mentions in the last six weeks. How lucky are we? Oh, Mariam, Mariam, how she pronounces it, at Marumi Crafts. The lovely Mariam. <laughs> what an amazing shout out she gave us. And she made it sound like I was a proper new designer and everything. Um, I, I've, I've released two charts. Mariam is in the privileged position that she knows what the third chart is that's coming out because she's involved with the Stitchers Collective and the new Stitchy Goodness scene. Mm. So the next chart that is coming out, what I can tell you now because we're advertising it, is that Hermann Crafts has got a really nice chart in the Stitchy Goodness scene, Forest Friends, which is due to be released on the 17th of September 2023, five days from when we're now filming um go and subscribe to the stitches collective on instagram and um go buy it when it comes out because mm. it is um full of lovely full of really lovely charts mm. you know i'm i'm working there with uh, like noctiflora designs has got one in it as well it's like oh, i'm in the same scene as noctiflora <laughs> Oh, hers is fab. I like the design she's put out. You know, so mine's a bit different to quite a few of the others. And but beautiful. Oh, thank you. Beautiful, stunning. It's worth looking at it, guys. I must admit, you you went into the craft room the other I, day where it was out. Yes, and you did a double take. I thinking, did. It was thinking, a real something. Thinking it was a real something sat there, and I'm like, no, no, that's yes. the stitches. Like, oh, yeah. Bad. Um, Katie at Cross Stitch Case gave us a quick shout out for the Under 1K Club, as a few people have, including obviously Slovak Farm. We're going to constantly mention Slovak Farm. Slovak Farm. We'll come back to that in a minute. 
Um, Angie the Hibernation Stitcher's mentioned us under that sort of similar vein, I think. Mary the Magnolia Stitcher also. Um, so that's the mentions. Um, Chris Cross Stitcher's back. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Chris, my lovely, we've missed you. <laughs> um, have you noticed that... Uh, we're dying. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm still here. We're, we're, <laughs> <laughs> it's filmed on these. Oh dear, that's so funny. You need to tighten the doofa. I think it's because it doesn't like that weight on it. Well, there must be a doofa to tighten up. There is, but it's as tight as it can go. With your fingers. But no, no, if you do it with yours, you'll strip the threads. Right, sorry about that. <laughs> that's a first. I know uh, what the long nail's going to be. And welcome to Amateur Hour <laughs> with Morty and Brom. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, there it goes, the giggle pin, all over the floor. Oh my word, that's not, that was so... <laughs> Shall I do some stitching even, while you're recovering? Even, no, no, I'm not even editing that out, that was too funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Oh, I'm crying. Right, moving on. Swiftly. Um, yes, so we have got a couple of other special comments. We've got several questions, okay? So first cool. of all... Um, so these are stitching related, you'll be pleased to know. So first of all, Rebecca, bless her, Rebecca Journey, something or other her, her thing is, her YouTube account is, um, she went back and watched an old frost tube because she missed us. Yeah, told us off, waggy, waggy finger. Come on, really, get a move on. Hi, Rebecca, thank uh, you. Hello. That was a really polite way to say hurry up and record a new vlog. Yeah. <laughs> it worked, we're here. I'm just watching it now, I'm making sure it's not going to do it again. We'll keep an eye on it. But you might end up seeing our knees a few times. Right. Um, Lisette. 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 She's in Germany. Yes. Things say that. Yes. Good uh, morning. Good morning. Um, uh, Wie geht's? So she had... Uh, willkommen. But Lee had loads of questions. I don't even know if Lee is male or female. So uh -huh. uh, Lee had loads of questions. So first of all, where she wanted to... Do it again, look. Lee would like to see pictures from the charity ride that you did last Sunday. Uh -huh. No, yesterday. Yesterday, a whole yesterday. Yep. Cool. So yes, so there will be a video. We might drop a couple of cl might drop a clip in of mm. David as he sailed past. Here he is. Here he is. Here he is. Here he is. Sailed. It was a motorbike, darling. Uh, you don't sail on a motorbike. Okay. You rode past. <laughs> I was being picturesque. You weren't going particularly quickly. Not you at that point. Approached, you know. Yes. So drifted past. You drifted past. <laughs> yeah. You drifted in a car. You don't drift in a motorbike. It's true, actually. Yeah. See, look what you're saying. You know, two can play at that game. Yeah. Touche. <clears throat> um. So yes, there will be a picture of that. He actually went put 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 yeah. Um. But Lee also asked, do you get any comments from the other tr truckers about your stitching? Um, can't repeat on here. <laughs> and I normally say, minding my own business in what you're supposed to be doing. You're making everything jiggle. Stop it. That's because I'm jiggling. I know. Stop jiggling. Yeah. Yeah, so no, it's been... Often what they say is not repeatable. Yes. But David is very polite back. I try to be. Um, I have a very good friend that I chat with on the trucks um, every day that he's working and I'm working and he is... Hi, Mark, if you're watching. Hello, Mark. Um, he is very happy to chat and he understands people have different hobbies and things and, mm -hmm. you know... Um, beats eating. Beats eating, a yes. Lot of, a lot of druggers will eat because they're bored. Because they're bored, nothing to do. For those that aren't in the trucking world, we get a mixture of either nine hours rest between our work periods or 11 hours or sometimes longer. Yeah. Um, you know, there has been as many as 17 hours uh, where jobs aren't, haven't come in. Don't have to be quite so expansive. Okay. But in that yeah. resting time. Time. <laughs> in that resting time, you can either do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's just that Lee asked a lot of questions. We oh, okay. Get um, the new pattern, you asked how long it took to stitch. It took quite a while because I started doing the model stitching, didn't like the colourway that the 
the pattern gave mm. me when I I blithely went through and went oh I like that color I like that color I'm going to do those and then when it actually came out and I looked at all the flosses I was like mm. oh that's not right so I it, it took a while for me to get my head around it but in total it's about 6,000 stitches and that's the, the beach hut that you were referring to but the other design that we've already talked about through the stitchy goodness scene that's about 4,000 stitches so it's a little bit quicker to stitch you also commented on another video about the white floss on the bee. I think we might have answered this question last time, but in case we didn't, it's actually antique gold treasure blade. blade. I can't say that word for love nor money. Antique gold treasure braid mm. by Rainbow Gallery. It is. Yes, it's a very pale gold metallic and not a white. Mm. Um, Catches the light beautifully. Other question was from Betty Washburn, 9106. Hi, Betty Washburn. And that was on the Chatelaine video that I did, uh -huh. asking what stand I'm using. So it's actually easier for me to show you the box than it is to show you the stand, because the stand is quite big. So this is the one I'm using. It is the Siesta Frames Limited Stitch Master full floor stand. Oh, that's a foot stand there, and I was gonna say flute stand. No, there you go. So sorry about the, the glare, glare from the... But yes, it's it's like this. And if I go further, look, <laughs> they show it naked. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so these these bits actually they they open wider or you pivot, can have them quite so they pivot in and that out. Way. Make it a very wide. But I do frame. find that it's a very wobbly stand, mm. even with all of that. The so, only adjustment you've got is to really tighten all the joints. Yeah. Without putting other stabilizing legs and stuff on. So it is something to watch for. Yeah. So but it will hold any type of working frame and it means that you literally it will hold it and prop it up and you just flip it over when yeah, you want pick to it up and turn it over so much easier mm. to be perfectly honest mm. um so i do quite like it but you do need to sit up quite straight at it so there's ooh, betty's art question um and lastly i want to do a shout out for a new new really new floss tube it's been only on the, the the circuit for about three months and has just the three vlogs so far right. and that is amy park stitch hello amy and hello amy husband as well so amy's only got 19 subscribers at the moment at the time of filming this go give her some love now yes. be prepared do not expect to be able to sit and stitch while <laughs> listening to amy because if you do, you'll, you'll miss, miss half loads. of it. Amy's husband does the editing. And it's... Hilarious. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely hilarious. So I couldn't stitch. I had to put stitches to one side, just sit and watch and laugh. It's Properly total. laugh because there's constant little photos and side Comments quips. and Comments, it's just lovely. Know. And in the very first video, you're treated to a picture of himself with a red nose on. Yeah. Good job. Yes. Beautiful so, job. So they're properly entertaining. I did laugh a lot. You have got to go and watch them. Yes. Say so that like name again. They are... Harpy Stitch. Harpy. H-A-R-P-Y Harpy Stitch. Stitch. Yeah. Put it along the bottom here for you. Um, lastly, we'll mention the Under 1K Subs Club. There's a link below. Go check out some new, new some of the newer floss tubers and also those that have been around quite a while that have got that are getting very Small close to numbers. their mm. the numbers highlighted on the right in red are those that are very close to getting their thousand subscribers so they might need you to go and give them a little bit of a yeah boost, boost. a bit of a mention of course and that was started out by linking my homeboy and the others as previously mentioned um laura at the slovak farm and dawn at um, Frosty X Stitch are also involved in keeping it up to date. They've done a sterling job recently while I've been a bit busy. And of course, Stitch Basel is this weekend. So yes, it is, yeah. Oh. Coming up. Hello to everybody like, there. And uh, yes, when you've seen sorry, anything about it, can't be there. Mm, yeah. Our hearts are, though. Maybe next time. If All there's right. a next time. We are. We hope there is a next time. Mm. So we'd like to make mm. a visit. So, on to the stitching. We are only 15 minutes in. That's right. Not too bad, but it's all. Half of that's been about stitchy stuff. And five minutes of that is looking at our knees. Yeah, more than five minutes. Don't exaggerate. If I told you a thousand <laughs> times, don't exaggerate. Actually, I probably have told you a thousand times. Me first. Um, in a moment. No fully finished offs yet. There will be um, next time. Um, but one of the FFOs. I'm having needle minder issues. You're having needle minder issues. Uh oh. The stormtrooper done a runner. The stormtrooper's. Um. Oh yeah. Double. Double trouble. The, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Um, you'll get to see the FFO that I can't show you at the moment. 
because it's not been released yet but next time that'll be on there yes along with a couple of others yes. we hope. Mm. right over to you my love thank you very much indeed yes my darling. so yeah, that's all good Whew. as previously mentioned um decorating has been the focus so stitching has not been uh a big focus for me at home. at home certainly not so the only big progress i've had is on um star parades um quaker sampler quacker which last time looked like this um i'm stitching on a 14 count spygart ada in a rustico green yes um the stitch the that was the dog by the way if you heard yeah that. not me uh, i'm stitching using silk for my first time it's i'm ups and down about it mm. everybody has their opinions of different things yeah. um it is a japanese mulberry fs 49 mm. Um, supplied by uh, Yarn and Fibre. On Etsy. On Etsy, so yeah. So it's where you're at. To hey, and we are. Yeah, you, can, you can let go, I've got it. Um, we've done a fair bit. Um, I'd say. I've got a, but I've got a huge question for people who loads. are. Yes, I can't even remember where it was last time, but um, I'm not going to pretend I haven't had trouble, uh, but only with my own lacking. And I wondered for people who are serial uh sampler stitches you know do lots and lots of them is it par for course that you end up frogging a lot because i frog a lot on this um up to 600 stitches at one point um 150 and it just goes on and on but it might just be me and i miss a stitch and then i carry on and then i don't it doesn't match or something so i'd love to hear from other people who love doing samplers is it normal just to accept? yeah i have done loads yeah yeah we're we're nearly we're nearly finished we've got a couple of we've got a big motif to go in here and we're gonna have some flying ducks and geese up here and then yeah it's another couple of weeks and it should be done i know it's exciting awesome. with all my moaning about the moaning the moaning yeah moaning my moaning okay my moaning jason 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 <laughs> about uh, frogging i've loved stitching it because um, i think i've mentioned before you just do a few stitches and you've got a duck or you've just done a few stitches and you've got a beautiful pattern it's so satisfying it's lovely it's stunning it's awesome thank it. you to star parade for creating this because i i love it dearly um and we're looking forward to getting it finished you can put a bit more blue in it it might be nice to put a little bit one of the ducks up here yep. in blue, maybe. Yep. Okay. Well, don't forget, black is going in the seed tray down the bottom there. So, oh, right. yeah, yeah. yeah I'm going to put the finish date in the in the seed tray. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. And your initial somewhere. And my initial somewhere. Yeah, and watch out your. your yeah, the magnet. Neither mind, just went snick. The stormtrooper loves the duck. Snick. Um, you haven't done any badger, have you? No badger. No badger, but you've done a little nope. bit of Roy. Tiny, tiny Not bit sure. of Roy. Is this going to be quite funny? Because if I put this picture up and it turns out he hasn't done any, then there was a, we might the good thing is, what I said to you earlier about there's a sudden change of colour, and that's what I've stitched yeah. since last time. I think. It is on... It's a Morty creation. Wow. Using a picture from... From, from, a source, yes, from the from the film. But I'm on twenty five count easy grid. Yep. Um, I haven't stitched it because I don't want to. I just haven't had the time. So this is what it look should like. look like, and this is how much we've done before. And hopefully, there's new stuff done. Let's put yeah. That. I'll, I'll hold that. Oop, crash. So yeah. I'm just plodding along on the um, background oh. using uh, royal rose. You've got just over um, a thousand stitches in. I'm very new to it. And I'm when I do sit down to it, it's great yeah. to do. It's very satisfying. Yeah. Um, but it's a long, long, long way away from having anything major done, and it'll just keep going yep. one stitch at a time. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's yeah. There's two hundred and fifty thousand stitches in it. So good of a mill. So we've got a long way to go. You'll see it again. A long way to go. See it again and again and again. If again. decorating goes well this week, the plan is to stitch on it every night this week. Yes. And then put it away until the wheel throws it up again. Yes. And the reason he is home this week is because I'm. we were supposed to be going to stitch Basel. Mm. Um, and we were actually going to be taking my mum. 
the stitch bars <laughs> Yeah, funny enough. Um, but then fate threw in a different hand. And Snake I've eyes. I've got teeth work being done. I'm sure the astute ones amongst you have noticed there is a bit of a problem with my teeth. Um, but today is the day that they get their final sorting out, which is um, in about three hours time. And I'm decidedly nervous about that. But we'll come to that another day. And um, so we still had this week booked off. So he's home to look after me while I, I recover. Am. I've got some big work being done today. You do. Um, but yeah. It's going to be okay. Yes. So we don't actually know when our next one will be. Right. Um, my stitching, I have equally not done very much for a couple of reasons. So first of all, I have been working on the Three of Crafts. I, mean, I mentioned it last time, but I was starting it if I hadn't already. I have done a massive amount. Um, work has been incredibly busy this week, so I haven't been able to sit in on any webinars this week, this last six weeks. But we have managed to get 537 stitches in on the Three of Crafts, which I just... Mm. Oh, I've got a random odd thread there. You do. It's not finished. Um, yes, three of crafts on Black Ada. Loving it. Um, good old sage at um, the, the Night Spirit Studio. Just such a brilliant design. I have decided I am going to fill in the middle with some black beads for a bit of extra bling. How and does, because it's not... How does black fabric fare for the old fading... Uh, it's a good question. Well presented, I'm not sure. I haven't had anything out that mm, long. Because it's the dragon that I did on black fabric 20 years ago that um, has never been in the sunshine and right. it's got UV glass on it. Oh, because you'll notice we wear a lot of black clothes and <coughs> they, they fade, fade super quick. They fade. And I wondered how the black fabric fares. Yeah. Second up is the dragon with embroidery by Nadezhda Kazarina on 14 count Ada. Stitch along with cross stitch bunny, rogue mama, stitch and violet stitch. You keep X stitch as they have all finished theirs. I think violet stitch might still be working on hers from the last blog. Mm. So it's the hashtag Kazarina dragon sal. Um, and here we are. He's coming on. You can see. Oh, hang on. This is what he looked like last time. Uh, he's coming on. <laughs> see. So, so <laughs> you can actually tell there's where the embroidery is going to be. And there's one of his claws, which is holding mm, a needle. Mm. And I can see there's his nostrils. Uh, I've put in 413 stitches in the last six weeks. Are you naturally across country? I've put in 413 country... stitches in the last 36 weeks, yes. I might actually... No, it's okay. Yeah. Are you naturally a cross-country stitcher? Yeah. You are? Yeah, that's how I always started. Oh, okay. But most people are when they're doing yeah, when designs. They... Yeah, yeah. So when you get to the... Big stuff. Big ones. Yeah, yeah. I was very careful what I said then. Because <coughs> mum's watching. I think I forgot. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. So very good. that's coming on. Not really convinced on this really dark thread with this very light thread, but there are lots of other shades of green to go yet. And his chair's burgundy. His chair will be burgundy coloured, yes. I might be starting on that soon. Cool. Um, uh, Chad Mir La Falsha. Looked like this last time. Um, I haven't done a great deal on it. I did feel the need to go back to it. I have put on 284 cross stitches and a 691 back stitch. So let me come in. Do you want to come in? And yes, hold it I'll, a bit I'll hold it. Yeah. So what you can't really tell from that, unless I don't know if it'll do it in the light. No, it won't. The um, beads. No, there's no beads in oh. it, but there is um, the gold round here I've done with um, blending filament to make it a bit more sparkly because this kind of work is illumination work and there should be gold leaf on it if yes. it was paper. So yeah. it just felt right yeah, to put a very some fancy proper, initial letter. Put some very nice sparkles on it. Mm, cool. So I'm looking forward to carrying on with that, finishing mm. that off. When I have stitched all of the, the gold border, I will add blending filament on the top of that because that's just flat. It's a bit of a nightmare to stitch with when you're doing that amount. Mm. I'm just trying to work out if you can. It's not going to show you the sparkles unless I make it blurry. Yeah, mm. you know, if I make it blurry, you can just about see them mm. in there as I move it. So, uh, but what I want to do is get this on a frame, a proper, not a Q snap. But on a proper scroll frame because I think I would get work on it more and I wouldn't have to keep moving the the, the Q snap around then. Ah yes. Yes. What else have I worked on? 
Right, yes, Cherith has had some work, not much. I don't count the stitches on this, and it's really hard to see. Um, can you pass me this? That will help. That will help. It's uh, my shawl that my lovely daughter bought me. There we go, it just stops you from being able to see behind. There we go. Right, so Cherith. Um, last time you saw it, it looked like this. So here's your comparison. So I've done quite a bit. And this is what the design will look like, but um, it won't look like that. It's That's the pattern, but the colours are completely different, as you can see, because the lovely Karen at Texture Treasures did, designed a completely different colourway for me. So I'm a very lucky girl, but mm. I need to get on with it. It's beautiful. Yes. Stunning. Yeah. Stunning, stunning. And the last thing that I have done some work on... I've actually done a little tiny, 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 tiny bit on um, the um, Chatelaine. Uh, uh, hang on. So last time you saw it, it looked like this. And there's a tiny amount of work that I've done on it. Looks like that. <laughs> so um, you just move that over that side. There we go. That gets that out of the way. Right, so basically, I'm going to have to go closer. Basically, I've done, I've finished the gold thread around here and I've started work on all this aubergine, rainbow gallery thread, classic mm. colour work, so I think it might be actually aubergine. Challenging or just? Do you know what really is challenging? Just pop it down there. Mm. So I filmed a stitch with me at the weekend while he was off for a ride. It's a short one, 25 minutes. It took me 25 minutes to do roughly that. I did a little bit more afterwards. Mm -hmm. I struggle to stitch and talk at the same time. I keep stopping. So there's a couple of moments in that stitch with me where there's nothing happening. And you're just listening to me. And I go, I need to stitch while I'm doing this. But um, it was an amusing tale to do with our last, not our last trip to Italy, but the time before. Mm -hmm. So that will be out sometime between now and our next vlog. And I will be doing some more stitch with me to get in the habit of actually doing some stitching and rather talking. than stopping and talking. Mm. So that's that. That's all the stitching. Oh, no, no. No, there's one more. There's one more. There's one more. Um, I decided I really needed some more Mill Hill in my life. There's room for every Mill Hill in everybody's life. There's room for Mill Hill in everybody's life. Absolutely. And I've been waiting to stitch this mm. for a while. I have the other five in stash. Mill Hill Christmas Tree Globe. Cool. M H one six one nine three six. I read that backwards, you know. Well done, know. lady. God, that's a talent. I know. I have trouble reading forwards. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does help if you have the book in front of you rather than behind you. Badum ba ding. Ba ding. Yeah, right. well done. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm working on, and here we. This is what I've done so far, and I've done probably about 600 stitches in it, believe it or so not. So you hadn't started that six I weeks ago? That six so weeks in six ago. weeks you've done that much? Yeah, on, cool. on, on Mondays, doing a little bit on Mondays. Uh, but the problem I have got is the aforementioned model stitch that I did, um, I had to get completed very quickly. And mm. so I whipped up 4,000 stitches in about five days, which for me is a lot. And there were some very late nights. So mm -hmm. you, know, you get about 150 a day in. Four thousand in five days. <laughs> Luckily, I had some time off work, um, but I have damaged my shoulder and elbow. And between that and RSI from work, using them, I've got a scroll mouse where you use your middle finger. It's pulled the tendons or something, and it's affecting my stitching. So, a little bit, a little small amount. Um, yeah. Right. We've had some stash. We have had some stash. It's just yeah. So first Amazing. Up, um, up in the stitching game, um, with the pir pirate ship stitching game, and the the team have decided that with the latest effort from Cottage Garden samplings, we really needed to stitch this the the snowman the pirate. pirate snowman. So we ordered that from one two three stitch dot com. Now, as you can all appreciate, just this from one two three stitch. It can't travel on its own. It's Certainly not. Five pound postage. It would get that. lonely. So, I, I ordered one, one very sad little little floss skein of 
classic colour works wild berries, which is the called for in in his jacket. In, in his it, jacket. In its jacket. In its, I think he's a he. In his jacket. Um. So yes. Cool. So I've ordered. I ordered that. And 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 <laughs> and. Just cross stitch Halloween special. I I have had an eye on this one. We've bought it for a couple of years running now, but I bought this one mainly just for one particular chart. The witchy hat. The witch hat pin cushion. Fantastic. Three dimensional. How cool is that? Very cool. It is very 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 cool. So. That's stunning. Yes. It's brilliant. Is rather good, I think, with all the nice relevant shading, so it looks like that band is, mm. is on afterwards. Um, but the, I mean, the, the whole thing is just filled with amazing charts, lots of amazing charts. You know, there's something there for everybody that likes Halloween, Halloween. yeah, like these little pumpkin faces to make a garland and so on. Um, and one of the others that I really, really liked, what I can see myself doing. I haven't done any from any of the others yet, but <laughs> it might be because the time for smalls is coming, I think. Mm. This one, I like that as a display piece. Trick or treat. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. So, could show you loads more. We also bought a couple of magazines. I got this month's Cross Stitcher magazine. Don't buy them very often. Comes with a free little squirrel thing. I'm actually going to turn that into an ornament to put on a... Halloween tree, well, seasonal tree. Oh, seasonal tree. Yeah. Um, that's the issue. And the ones in it that I loved, I I like. I like Fox in Full. Fox. Which is on the front cover. Yeah, that's, that's really nice. Stunning. That's a really good fox. And their Halloween section. Check that out. That's fab. That's I like cool, that isn't one. It? It's a sampler thing. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. It says, make a little magic. Cool. Yep. And what else did we, we select on that one? Yes, there's a good black work design in there, actually. Um, which is a bit unusual in that it labels each of the, the patterns. I think this is quite, quite a stroke of genius. Like, so this is plough and abundance. Leaves. Um breezy it's like blowing wind so they, they're all different wow patterns that have been named according that one is rainy that is a very british design yeah. <laughs> got apples for crunchy i like the baked one it looks a bit like bread don't move it's quick yeah and you've got like cozy is a load of teacups cool or mugs and we've got um fog so yes, that's Fab magazine. And the other magazine we couldn't resist buying was this one. Although I have got that Shannon Christine design in another another mm. one of these type things, which was all her designs. The Santa on the cover, he's stunning. Except that he's wearing a dress. Yeah, yeah. I, I like my Santa in wellies. To you like your wellies? To be perfectly honest, but there was stunning. There was one that I particularly wanted to pick out from that, which is, is shown on the cover, but we'll show it a bit bigger. And that's the Gingerbread Village. Mm. I think we might have a gingerbread house upstairs. We in do. The stash. We do. Oh, in the stash. Yeah. Mill Hill Kit. Okay. Yes, it's, it's lovely. I mean, like, the colour back is lovely. Enjoy. Very clever people putting stuff in there. Yeah. yeah, that's good. I like that. That but that's did full catch coverage, my eye. that one. Yeah, that kept caught my eye. The yeah. sleigh over the, over the house. Yep. Yeah really clever and then and then we didn't buy this at all ourselves no no no, no. Gift you, might, gift. you might see becky got craft she is a very funny very funny very 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 funny <laughs> frost tube with clyde the inflatable alien a green alien clyde um she said oh you know could i have your address she said i've got something i want to send to you i was like mm, i don't generally give my address out if i can help it but it's becky's i like becky so i thought i'd make an exception for becky mm. and then forgot <laughs> promptly forgot probably forgot so i had done so didn't really think anything more of it and then suddenly 
the postman turned up last week. He was like, oh, that's have, a, have a box. It wasn't even a box. It was a it was a jiffy bag. Mm. And I looked at it and like, oh it's, oh, it's from Becky. Oh, I forgot she said, hang on a minute. What's she sent me now? It's like, uh-oh. <laughs> so, first up, um, yes. So, we got these. Oh, I've just spot. I didn't see that before. Right, these little bottles. You have one, I have one. Little bottles of beads, okay. But check this one out. It's got a little skelly skull in it. Look, there it is. Look. Ah! Oh, and that's got a... I think it's, that was probably got a bat or a, something. A bat or a cat. Or a witch. Yeah, that's, that's definitely... Definitely... Wow. A skelly skull. So it's just so, just so cute. Like, oh. I can't tell what it is. Leave my specs on. It doesn't help. Oh, he's a cat. It doesn't help. This is why I ping it all over the floor, isn't it? But it is. Sorry, stay, you know, bear with us, folks. This is, this could be dangerous. They are cats. It's a little cat. It's a scary cat. Hang on. Let's see if we can... Hang on. We, 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 we'll be right with you. Hang <laughs> on. We don't want to spill the little beads all over the floor. I'm going to have to get a little apothecary cabinet and mm. curios now. But cause you couldn't see it before. No, because it kept tumbling around in all the beads. A little spooky cat. Fabulous. Cool. You see, you see, little child. You see his little. <laughs> I'm getting to stick on my thumb. There we go. Look. Sorry about the licky, licky, licky shiny. It's your licky. But yeah. It's a cool. Arched back cat. That's fab. Proper lovely. That's absolutely fab. So that's those two were in there for a start. Mm. And then um, a load of stickers. I, I haven't opened them yet, but there's some really pretty stickers in there. Mm -hmm. Snake, snake. And let's be spooky together. There's, there's loads, loads of stickers. So there they are on the back. So snake and skull and trick or treat and be spooky and flowers. Marvellous. And, and a bunch of flies. bunch of flies and moscars. And... Very cool. Pick your poison. One of the stickers says pick your poison. Scary things grow here. Lovely. It's just like excellent, and 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 look at this lot for colour. <laughs> I am thinking about very fetching, darling. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn it into like festival festival space bun, so I'm going to uh -huh. my hair up and have funky because they don't. It's, I could. I need, mm. They're very effective together. They are. I yes. like them. They're going to stay there. Um, and you could be the fluorescent witch. Oh, <laughs> popping candy, Kool-Aid, 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 popping candy. We haven't opened these yet. No. Ooh. No, it's not Halloween. It's Halloween every day in this house. Is you going to have some while we're filming? That's just good. This could be funny. When this stuff first came out, I was afraid, I was afraid it was going to break my teeth. Go on. Don't inhale. Mm -hmm. How is it? <laughs> We're just going to carry on the rest of this, looking really ridiculous and with a... That's really very poppy. That's very active. I think you need to have quite a lot in your mouth. Yes. Go. Yeah. The whole packet. That could be a bit crazy. But we're just going to sit here and pop away. That's enough. But thank you. Um, what a little, what a little, oh, yeah. <laughs> Marshmallow Peeps Ghosts. I love Peeps. Lots of people don't like Peeps. I also like the ones that are covered in sugar. Oh, okay. That coating of sugar. Yeah, like we, yeah. get, we get something very similar here mm. at, at Halloween. So yes, yes. It's very good of us, actually, not to have eaten them. They're only, they're only 47 calories per ghost. Not bad. Sweet treat to mine. 
<laughs> sharing, sharing. Last but not least in the package, you may have noticed that behind Becky's head is Ni. Oh yeah, Ni. From Monty Python. Yeah. And I had commented on it because we've got a chart. I think the chart that we've got, Becky, is actually slightly different. Slightly so we different might do yeah, both of both. them. Both, yeah. But look at this. She stitched it and sent it for us. Bless her. Is it fab? So thank you, Becky. She just She did say when I said let her know that it arrived, she said she couldn't remember how we said we were going to finish it. I'm going to finish it exactly the same way as you have. In a hoop. I have started painting the hoop. The hoop is going to be black on the outside. Um, this is perfect. Absolutely perfect. And it will shortly appear on the wall behind us. Well, on the shelf behind us. So thank you very, Marvelous. very much. Oh, it's awesome. Absolutely very awesome. So. And there was a little card that came with it where, and this is why Becky sent it. Or hope you don't mind me sharing. But she said, Morty and Dave, we just wanted to send a small token of my appreciation for all you do for the stitching community. Well, right back at you. Mostly makes them wet themselves laugh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, mm. so right back at you, Becky, because you're just as funny yourself. And we think yeah. you're adorable. Yes. So almost done. Okay. Plans and announcements. Decorating. Decorating. I'm going to turn this into a headdress. I think headdress. you should. It's... If I can keep it on my head. Is it a compliment? Does that suit you? I don't know. It's like that witch at Loxwood who has all the dreads and mm. everything, isn't it? Yeah, I can have my Halloween sort of fake dread mm. hair lock mm. things. But I just think the colours are... All together, the colours are fab. I'm not an orange Don't person. Know. I'm not a green person. I'm definitely a purple person. But when they're together, it they're screams together, Halloween. It screams Halloween, yeah. Mm. So we have a book to share. Well, we're going to come to that in a minute. Okay. Lots of decorating. Try and do a bit of stitching. Obviously, there's a new release coming out in five days. So go buy the Stitchy Goodness zine so that we can all actually earn some money from it. That would be nice. <laughs> um... <coughs> So that's what will happen there. I do have some more designs that I really have got to do. And if I'm feeling well enough the rest of this week, hopefully I'll be able to trot a couple of them out. I have an idea for a temperature chart that he keeps saying to me, I've got to get on and do it. You have. So, yeah, I will get Because on there are plenty it. out there, but your idea is different. To different. Everything else we've seen so far. Yeah. Doesn't mean to say there isn't one out there, just I haven't seen it yet. So, yeah, I've got two, mm. two or three in mind, actually. Cool. Um, right. Yes, book to share. Over to you, dude. I'm um, sure everybody's heard about this already from everyone I'm else, sure there's a big furore about this book that we're going to mention. Um, Fourth Wing. Um, we were in town. Morty had heard about it. And um, went in and bought it. No. Yes. Yes, because yes. we went um, to we, Waterstones. We ended up with it. And we went to a different shop and they were selling it for half the price. Um, Morty whizzed through it. Yes. Five days. Uh, and then I um, handed it over to me. Well, I took it to the truck. It was my. It really stopped me stitching because all I wanted to do was read Fourth Wing. What a book! Yeah, stopped, what a book! Stopped him stitching. Stopped me stitching in the truck. I just didn't. It was easy to pick the book up, and I just oh my word! Incredible. If you're into dragons and stuff, um, this is a very different look at how dragons interact with people. Uh, incredible. Yep. Incredible book. Looking forward to number two. And how dragon riders are trained. Yes. Yes. There are obviously lots of books on the topic of dragons and dragon riders. and. Well, our favourite is Pern, isn't it? And Indeed. McCaffrey's books. And then obviously um, um, Game of Thrones talked about, you know, dragon riders and stuff. and mm -hmm. How to train a dragon. How to train a dragon. But this is definitely something different than I've ever come across. Very um, much so. And it's most enjoyable and a speedy read. Uh, within a week, I didn't do it in five days. Five days, I'm halfway, which is obviously. Yeah, you, you know. had to drive. I didn't. I was on holiday the week. I yeah, I was just squeezing it in uh, while I was I rested. Could, I could have two o'clock in the morning. Bedtimes. <laughs> you can't. But no, it's a, it's a good book. Thumbs up from me. Mm. Love it. Absolutely love it. So mm. well worth the read. Mm. New one is out. The, the, the next book in the instalment is out on the 7th of November, I think. Audio your copy now. And interestingly, the new book, the next book out... For us over here in the UK, we've got a, a shop called WH Smiths who produce a 100 top bestsellers chart according to what's in their shops. And Fourth Wing is currently number eight. 
and something like number three is Iron Flame, which is the sequel. Mm. Number three on pre-orders alone, and that's just that says that's everything incredible. really. Yeah. So there we go. That's it. Um, should add also that if there's, there's, there is a stitching link to the book, and that is lovely Jen Wolf down the rabbit hole has got a really nice design. I'll drop a picture of it in here, which we will be getting and stitching. Cool. Yes. Of course. Yes. Because that's you know, bit of fourth wing. Absolutely right. Yeah, I'd love done. to do that. Yeah, needs to be done. Fantastic. See if we can find some gold fabric to put it on, maybe. Yes. I'm sure somebody's got a goldy coloured opal. Mm. Cream and gold. I might even have some upstairs. Who knows? Cream and gold. It'll look good on that. Cool. Right. So, time to go. We've been talking for 45 minutes. Unbelievable. I expect most of you have switched off by now. If you're still there. If you did, you missed out on this. <laughs> um... <laughs> So we hope you hit. You hope you hear. Hope. Shall I do that bit and you do the end bit? Okay. Hope you keep happy, healthy, wise, and well. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.